In this video, we're going to cover opening up a point file as well as bringing in its background file. Now, a points file is a .tfl extension. It contains all the points and their information. The background file can either be a DWG, a DXF, or an SKP, a SketchUp file. The first thing I want to do is go to my Jobs button and click on that. And I've got a couple different ways that I can get these files onto my tablet. If they already exist on my tablet, I've got some projects here and I can pan or scroll down through and find the project that I want to work on. In this case, maybe it's the super awesome building and I want to work on level one. And here's my level one points file. I select it, it turns yellow, and then I can open that file up. Once it opens up, it also, if the background file has already been associated to it, it will bring that in and attach it so that you can see them both, not only the points, but also the background file geometry. Now, if for some reason the background file doesn't come in, one of the things that you can do is you can go to the ellipse button down here and you can go to the import. What import is going to do, it's going to look for jobs, and I'll go back to my super awesome building and inside level one and now it's looking for those specific DWG files. I'll go ahead and select this one and I'll import it. Now you're going to see that it's importing this file and what it's doing is it's converting it to something that Trimble calls a BLDG file. Now that means nothing to anybody else in the world except for our Trimble field link software. What we're doing is we're taking these large CAD files and we're compressing them down and we're making them easier for the tablet to understand. So you can see I can zoom in and out rather smoothly and pan around without too much difficulty. So that's just a conversion that we do. And now we've got the points file and the background file. Now there are a couple other ways that we can get files onto this tablet if they don't already exist there. We can use a thumb drive. And if I click on my thumb drive, I can see that I also have some projects here. And in this case, I have a not so awesome building. And maybe I need to open up level one, or I can go back a step and maybe it's level two that I'm after. I'll click on it. I select it. It opens yellow, turns it yellow. And now I'll say open locally. And now I'll open it onto my tablet again. So I I can use that project. You always want to work locally on your tablet. You don't want to try and work off of a thumb drive or a cloud or, or something else. It's, it's going to run terribly slow. The third option that I have is the cloud-based option. Now, you see it's grayed out here. I can't use it. But if I go up to this button here, this is Trimble Connect. And if I click on this button, it's going to ask me for my credentials, my email and my password. I'll go ahead and sign in to Trimble Connect. And what that's going to do then is going to allow me to access all my projects that I have on the cloud. I'll go back into my jobs folder. Now this is selectable and it's going to go out and it's retrieving a list of all the projects that I have. Inside Trimble Connect, I've got the Trimble Regional Headquarters. I've also got my super awesome building. And once again, maybe I'm after level one demo area and I can open that locally. Now, I've done this before. It says file already exists. Do you want to override it? Be careful about that. So now I've got that file opened up. It shows me what it is. And once I have a job open, another thing that I can do is, again, go down to the ellipse. I can come over to my settings, and if I want to change my distance units, meters, decimal feet, or feet and inches rounded to a specific increment, or if I can also change my coordinate order from northing and easting to XY, and I can even go ahead and change this over to a specific language that I'm looking for. Maybe I like Korean, for example. And that concludes the video for opening a job and bringing in its background file.